So I think it's been long enough, and I think we deserve a boss fight. Yeah, it's time to get the hell out of here. What does it even mean? <laughs> well, there's an enemy in ahead, and its weakness is Jog. Ah, uh, that guy would have gotten a plus one before, but not now. Oh. Too bad. You're too late, buddy. Thankfully, with his other shortcut open, we just, we're there already. Oh, fantastic. Also, we got the Bastard Sword, which requires like 20 strength. It's kind of crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. So, I, yeah, no, we can't even wield it. I'm assuming the warrior starts pretty close to that, though, right? Uh, really anybody with 10 strength. Oh. Because you just need half to two-hand it. True. But we have we start with six in everything. <laughs> right. And look at this. We get uh, NPC. Yeah. And a dual wielding shield NPC. Oh, well, all right. So I don't know if it's since the Scholar of the First and stuff, but the NPC AI is amazing. Here's the first boss, and he's kind of a pushover. Oh. Well, alright then. So there's a lot of lore with this game and giants that I'm sure we'll have time to get into later. Yeah. But do not get stomped by him, because that'll hurt. I would imagine. Also, yeah, just run between his legs all the time, though. He is so easy to telegraph. <laughs> I like how you just keep cutting at his ankles. I mean, that's all you can do. You can target his ankles, but I don't recommend targeting for this fight. Because you have to keep running. Pretty much. And then at half health, he just tears his fucking arm off. Well, why not? I would. This may be the most metal fight. <laughs> Oops. I mean, if you're going to have a club, use one that you rely on. Why didn't he just pull one of the many swords out of his back? Because well, they're all rusted or, or and like broken. Or like all of them. <laughs> Oops, he died. There goes the last of the giant. Bye! So you'll notice that those summon signs were still there. Um, uh, yeah? That means there's another boss in this area. Oh. How many bosses are there? In the game? Sure. There's like 30 of them. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot. That's why I'm pretty sure this game's gonna take a lot longer than the first one. Yeah? Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. <laughs> oh, what'd you give me? More armor. But if you go over here, you get some really good items. Um, you get a ring that is maybe good? I don't know. Maybe? You'll see. Alright. Cool. Oh. So the Ring of Restoration restores your health over time. Ooh. But it's so slow that I never even really notice it. <laughs> and that's... That's how they get you. Yeah, so I want my shield back because I'm not facing a boss anymore. But there is a new enemy over here. Oh, hi buddy. Normally we would not see this guy until way later, way, way later. Oh. I mean, he's sort of like the Black Knight of the game now, but he doesn't drop anything. Oh. 
he might be able to drop something, but it's a super rare drop either way. Yeah. We're big baby. And we can't open this door until pretty much the end of the game. Oh, really? Yup. Wow. So the Grand Lance is something special. Yeah? Uh, maybe we'll use that later once I have the attributes, because wow, does it require a lot of strength. <laughs> but if you want an idea of what the Grand Lance looks like, it's, uh, it's pretty big. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, that is definitely a lance. So when you, like, backstab people, you stab them into the air with that thing. Fantastic. It's pretty nice, but we don't have anywhere near the stats for that thing to be <laughs> useful. No. So there is another area of this game, not this game, but this area that we just unlocked with the soldier key, but mm -hmm. I don't feel like dealing with that right away. Oh, okay. Because it's got a lot of really annoying shit. <laughs> like an invader NPC that casts like a million magic. Oh, that's, that's not good. It's a lot of magic. Yeah, so one of the things that they finally programmed in is uh, NPCs can heal themselves. Oh. I don't think invaders can, but co-op NPCs can heal themselves. It's kind of magical. Yeah. Um, but one thing that kind of fooled me for a while, and I actually kind of confused a couple NPCs with real people, is they will start using gestures. Oh. So when you summon somebody, they use a gesture. If an NPC kills you, they use a gesture. It's weird. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Uh, it was too oh, early. Wow. That was bad. Okay. That was bad. Let's just trick the NPC. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. He can take some hits. Yeah, these are Royal Guard swordsmen. Oh. So they are much, much stronger. Yeah. And oh great, there's another one. And an archer. Now that takes care of that. Oh, did I just get stabbed in the face? <laughs> he walked into it. That's yeah, that's one thing that's weird with fireballs and arrows and stuff. The tracking that the NPCs have is really good or really shit. <laughs> life gems. Yeah, we want to be fully healed when we enter this fight, because he can kind of wreck me. Is this the pursuer, pursuer already? Yes, it is. All right. I don't know what, what he's talking about. No, 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 okay. Nobody's talking about the way to beat this boss, and it really <laughs> bothers me. He's talking about the ballista, which is one way to do it, but it's not really reliable. Oh my god, do these people not know how to fight this boss? <laughs> Obviously not. So I'm just equipping another item because I might have to switch due to degradation. Yeah. So here's the pursuer. He's really easy. All you gotta do is not get knocked off that ledge. Please don't get knocked off. Yeah, no, that would be bad. Do this. Oh. Parry him. Parry him all the fucking time. Cause look how wow. long it takes him to recover. Who knew you could parry him? So you can actually parry like six bosses, but most of them recover very quickly. Yeah. This guy is a big old baby. Oh. Well, all right then. Just, just parry him. Just do it. That's that's insane. The only problem is you do have to begin your parry really early. Yeah. Also, don't try to parry that. <laughs> if he hits you with that, 
he will curse you, which means that, like, instead of dying, you just lose some of your max health. Okay. And, uh, he will, like, get super-powered, because he, like, absorbs your shit. Uh, no thank you. So, one good strategy is to parry him and then run to a ballista, but that's only if he's in the ballista's path. Right. And the ballistas are pretty good. They take, like, a third of his life off. Oof. Yeah. Also, don't be scared. But I might sort of get fucked up in this fight. Uh-oh. I thought it was going to be there. It's there. It's not over. Oh. You're 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 not parrying. I'm trying to. <laughs> I've actually helped out so many people with this boss that I have the parrying down, but <laughs> yeah. Please parry that boss, please. It's that's stupid easy. Oh yeah. Yeah, he drops the Ring of Blades, which increases your base attack, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's good. Also, we got a pretty nice view of nothing. In the ocean. The terrible, terrible waves. Uh, we'll see them shortly. And they're attacking giants. So I think this is where the other two came from before. Really? Yeah. Why they stopped attacking this one, I don't know. Because <laughs> this one wasn't important anymore. Does something happen with them later? Yes. But okay. this is maybe the best message. Oh. Because that is left leg. Yeah? It's the little things that get me by. Well, as long as you're happy. But finally, no more waiting. Instant <laughs> cutscene. All right. I said instant cutscene. So we are technically in an area that's way too high level for us. Oh. But we're just here to get these items. Okay, and then leave. Uh, no, there's a few more items. Uh oh. Okay. But they put this item right here, the dull ember, which is super nice. Oh, good. Because you use that to upgrade your weapons to stuff like flame, lightning, dark, poison, whatever. Mm -hmm. And normally that's in a really bad area, but now it's in the same area as the blacksmith that uses it, so... Ooh. That's actually really nice. Good. Okay, it looks like we get those items later. <laughs> well, alright. There's also a special surprise later, which is not so special. And more of a surprise. Uh, it, it'll catch you by surprise. It sure did to me. <laughs> Now you can sip it three times. <gasps> three times. So hey, once you beat those two bosses, Malencia moves out here. All right, well, that makes her easy to get to. And now she sells infinite life gems. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I just love how, like, her proper title is Merchant Hag. Mm-hmm. They're just totally upfront about it. <laughs> what did you just buy? That is the item we need to get into the last part of the tutorial. Oh. Well, alright then. Also, you'll want to keep stock on life gems, because they're pretty nice. Yeah, uh, anything healing. Yeah, even if they are pretty expensive. Yeah. Except they're not. Yeah, 300 souls is not bad. 
old woman. Why, why are you abandoning this poor old woman? Well, I bought a bunch of shit from her, so I was hoping that she would give me this. Ooh. So not only is it the regular, it's plus one, so now we get a bunch of souls. Nice. And it's not in the fucking Tomb of the Giants like it was in the first game. <laughs> is there a gold servant? A gold covetous serpent ring? Yes. And there's also a plus one that you can get, and they mm -hmm. are both in the same shitty area. Oh. One you get from a merchant, the other one you find on, like, a really scary place. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, hello again. Uh, I hope you find something of use. Well, I do have some souls. <laughs> so, yeah, let's be a falconer. Yes. I mean, I'm not going to wear all of the armor, but it's something. It's better than making your butt look big. It's still, it's still going to make my butt look big. <laughs> and there is nothing wrong with that. Much. And do please come again. So, you remember a key we got a long time ago and we never <laughs> opened a door? Oh, that's right. He still needs to let in. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> also, there was a blood stain in the doorway. What? Why not? Ah, oh, yes. Very good. What? Not even a thank you? Get to work. He's not a very thankful guy. But first, <laughs> let me set up. Come again, please. Well, if you want to know when later is, it's when you've set it up on fire. Of course it is. That's usually when later is. That's a fancy robe he's got on. That is a starting robe for the mage class. Oh. So, it's not that fancy. Starting no. Back. This is dangerous work. The name's Lenigrast. Just a simple blacksmith. And you are, uh, uh, another useless traveler. Oh, yeah, okay. This is the Ouch. facts I get. Really? Well, I'm not a man in this game. Uh, nope. You butt. <laughs> oh, I guess you're flirtatious. No, isn't this the other way around? No, I need to show him what I got. Is if we're going to do a fist fight? Oh. And I need to show him what I'm made of? <laughs> Go with the great axe. No. We got some cooler items to buy. Oh. But not a whole lot of them because we don't have many souls left. Tuh, yeah. So we'll upgrade some stuff later. Um, he only even sells ten of those Titanite shards, so... Mm -hmm. There's not much we can do anyway. Yeah. And the difference in this game is that uh, you can only level up weapons to plus 10. Oh. Instead of plus 15. Oh. But you can level them up to plus 10 immediately, you just need the items. Fair enough. But you can also imbue them with like fire and stuff whenever. Oh. And then you can switch them out, too. So, like, if you want fire and then you don't want it anymore, you just use a different item. Oh, okay. Does it keep its plus? It does. Ooh. I know only of smithing. The souls have many other uses as well. Please do not eat the soul. Don't waste your souls on useless trinkets. Think before you spend. No. They're my souls. Why does everybody think you're gonna die? Uh, cause we might. <laughs> See, let's actually get us some souls, cause we've got quite a few. Yeah. So, I mean, if we're going to be using this, I like, why don't we just upgrade it? Mm, that makes sense. 
Yeah, we got that large Titanite shard, so let's do it. All right. Also, I want to get... The mace is pretty good against armored people, but the rapier is super good. Oh. Um, especially its counterattacks. They are very aggressive. I'll be around good. If you make it back. But yeah, that's, that's it. That's already two bosses down. Oh, good. But it's gonna be a little bit before the next one. Not, not too long. Oh, uh, that's good. So instead of the robes that make us look fat and the armor that makes us look fat, we're gonna use the armor that makes us look fat. <laughs> well, you're fat. It's better armor. I can't complain. No. I will complain. <laughs> can't turn it off. But next time we gotta do a little bit of cleanup. <laughs>